Hi everybody, it's Lauren Beauvais Artist here. I am doing a speed paint today of a vase of flowers. Um, I used a limited palette on this. I used Permanent Rose, uh, Dioxine Purple, Raw Umber, Yellow Ochre, and I believe Raw Sienna if I remember correctly. Oh, and Indian Yellow. Um, so in this painting I did a underpainting in acrylic paint and then used uh, oils mostly the Gamblin 1980 line which I do love a lot it's the student grade line I talked about it in a couple of my hauls um, so yeah I'm excited to, I like this piece I may be putting it up on my Etsy shop not sure yet probably the original not I don't know if I'll do prints of it I'm thinking about it but um, during this process, I was reflecting a lot about um, my career. Um, as you guys probably know from my other videos, I'm in art school currently, majoring in fine arts and art education. I'm a double major. But um, I was thinking a lot about how people in the art education department will pick art education as a backup plan, kind of like their parents are like, oh, well, you're not going to be a successful artist, so you need to have a backup plan. And to me, education is really important. I do it every day. Right now, I'm teaching an art summer camp. Um, so it's a huge part of my life and always has been. Education was my number one. But as I paint more, I think, like, wow, I really love to do this full time. But I also can't bear to get uh, leave education behind. So I just... Well, <laughs> getting on to my point here is that um, education is kind of not a backup plan thing, and if you want to be a successful artist, you can do it. Um, I mean, it's really hard. It's a lot of work. Like, even me, who I'm trying to be an artist, trying to have a website, trying to have this successful YouTube channel, um, I appreciate all of your supports as... It's sometimes it's hard for me to get videos out with working 40 hours a week, going to school, and you know, just trying to be, uh, have relationships with my friends and family. But uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, follow your dreams. Don't like, obviously, don't let people tell you what you can and can't do because, um, you can be successful and I'm trying to like turn this I, I'm trying to be like positive here but I feel like it's not really positive it's just kind of me spelling out my feelings about the situation because I I'm torn really because I feel like I like I want to be a full-time artist but I also want to be an educator and ha having to fuse those two worlds together is extremely hard like, I don't think people understand how hard it is to be an artist. Like, to have time to sit and create, to have time to make a website, to have time to make prints, to have time to um, market yourself, to have time, like, as an artist, you're expected to keep up, like, market yourself on all these social medias, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and gain a following, but then make art, and then sell your art, and make prints, and it's just a lot to keep up with. And I think that's why um, I'm struggling so much because I also have the education that I'm working towards and having both is like extremely challenging and extremely hard and I could not imagine like um, people who like how hard people who devote their whole life to just art um, have to work because art isn't my main source of income it does help a little bit on the side but I have my career um, in education with the YMCA um, as you saw if you guys watched my personal narrative which was my last video that I uploaded um, you saw me talk about a little bit of the um, my side of working with children and my job at the YMCA. Um, but anyway, I'll get back to this topic, but I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about the painting first. Um, oh, <laughs> in the beginning I mentioned that I, I totally forgot I used sap green. I used sap green for the leaves. 
um, which I dulled down with some titanium white and I believe a tinge of permanent rose. Might have been crimson. Crimson. Um, so this painting took me two days, course of two days. Um, but the first day I did it was a week to the second day I did it, so it did have some time to dry in between. It wasn't fully dry, but dry enough for me to kind of layer on top of it. Um, it I like, in, um, in regards to underpaintings, I do like using acrylics more because um, it dries faster and I can get working right away. As you saw from my first day working, I got right to work on the, um, what am I looking for? Oh, the top, the top painting, the, over the underpainting. So, um, I like that acrylic, I don't have to wait for it to dry, because with an underpainting in, using oils, you kind of have to wait a day, even if you use the one to fourth ratio of linseed oil and Gamzol. Um, so... I do like that, and also with acrylics, you can add some under colors, uh, underpainting color, and not have to wait super long for it to dry. Um, I didn't do that in this particular painting, but I'd like to do that more. Um, oils, I really love them. I never used them before I went to college, and now I've fallen in love with them. And also, I want to talk a little bit about my um, how I have my oil paint set up on the side there. You can see I have a pegboard and some hooks and I have binder clips attached to the oils and then them hung up. So my first two rows are like my basic palette. Um, what do I have? Let me take a peek behind me. Um, alum crimson, permanent rose, uh, Indian yellow, I believe that's lemon yellow. I'm not sure. Um, I can't see exactly, but yeah, I have like the basic palette stuff. So, and then I have the more um, the less the colors that I use less and need in like special circumstances um, on the bottom two on the bottom three rows, and then I have those big um, big um, tubes. I, I'm like at a loss. I I've been filming a vlog too that will be up after this and I'm like at a loss for words lately um, but yeah the big tubes of the colors that I use frequently um, so like the Caucasian skin color um, and I believe that's raw umber ivory black and titanium white which I go through like crazy with white um, I'm sorry for the um, the gap sometimes but my camera um, died once and then my memory card filled up another time and I didn't even notice. Um, <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like finalized. I do go ahead and add some touches. That's me signing my name right now. I signed it a little bit before I finished. But going back onto the topic, um, I really, this summer, while I've been off from school and I'm just kind of working and, you know, uh, working with the kids and focusing on my art a little bit I've been trying to get back into it but it's really hard for me to focus because I'm like you know I'm so drained at the end of the day to come home and want to create art it's really hard for me to be stay motivated but I really want to you know I, I want to be able to be out there and be successful and um, I'm trying really hard to get better and market myself I made goals for myself keeping lists and keeping notebooks is really helps me a lot in keeping a list that I can check off and um, like this weekend I have a list of stuff that I want to do and being able to go ahead and check those goals off and um, you know just see what I want to do see what I'm thinking about and uh, even in a notebook that I keep with me all day I write down some stuff that inspires me or some ideas that pop in my head because you know I'm gonna forget them like I have sticky notes lining my uh, monitor riser um, that I saw on Pinterest or Twitter or stuff that I want and want to turn to calligraphy because I'd like to start practicing calligraphy as well. But anyway, this is about towards the end of the video. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you have any suggestions for something that you'd like me to paint or to draw, um, please leave that in the comments. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Bye, guys.